There's this guy, he makes music. None of it you would play to anyone or any women you hadn't gotten to know. They'll start running, kicking and screaming when you play this music. And for some reason, people like you and me who listen to him can't get enough and it sounds like heaven to our ears. You are f***ing racist. <laughs> Barrington Davon Hendricks. Who are you? My name is Barry. Barry? Yeah. Th that's your artist name. No that's, no, that's my real name. Better known as JPEG Mafia is an American artist from New York, Brooklyn. Born in Flatbush before moving to Alabama at age 13, where there was a significant amount of racism that later had an intense effect on his music. Peggy later moved to Louisiana and enlisted in the US Air Force at age 18. He served a tour of duty in Iraq and also spent time in Kuwait, Germany, Japan and North Africa before being honorably discharged after speaking up against his superiors reported abuse. In April 2021, Peggy spoke about sexually, verbally and physically being abused in his childhood, which now comes out in some of his music today. Now I'm gonna use a timeline of Peggy's discography I found on Reddit. If it's wrong, this is the username and go find him. Don't, don't be, don't be aiming at me. I was in Hannibal Burris's presence and I farted, but I didn't fart on him or nothing. He was just in the vicinity and I thought about it later. I was like, that's crazy. Once again, I hate to bother, it'll be a proposition and I can't- The first project is- <coughs> The first project is Generation Y. Released in January 2010 with this low quality mic but high quality production, Peggy has made and put together an amazing project for my ears to listen to. With questionable track names such as Operation Kill Hannah Montana, Operation Kill Luke Scott, and Operation Kill Chet Hayes, he was unhinged in 2010, it, it seems. There is a lot of Doom bars in here as well. And a lot of this I'm listening to for the first time and it's already becoming some of my favorite tracks. A lot of Gen Y sounds like KND or Farside. Old school hip hop sounding Peggy. I don't think I'd mind farting in front of Kanye. He would probably fuck with that shit. He baptized me. <laughs> to Dreamcast Summer Songs, which from my 100% extensive research used to be called Since I Left You 2. This is an instrumental project with great production from Mr. Mafia. I can't compare it to anything. It's really just Peggy's unique style with quirky loops and whatnot. It's a good listen. You should probably check it out. My mom met some nigga on like eHarmony or something. I don't know what happened, but we moved to Alabama. Nowadays, every girl wanna yap like they got something to say, but nothing. Moving on to one of my favorite albums, Joe Chill World, a very relaxed sound with a lot of themes of politics and white hoes, which is pretty standard. However, compared to newer projects, this album has a much more relaxed tone with some of the songs sounding more like a romantic anime intro. Just more insane production from Peggy. Finally, who's who's more annoying? Um, people on the internet who are alt-right trolls or people on the internet who compare every experimental rap release they hear to Death Grips? Who's more annoying? You about to, you really about to make me go in. Oh. The Ghost Pop Tape is an album that has very dreamy production with very nightmarish vocals and themes. The best way I can describe it is sort of the same feeling you get looking at Liminal Space or the Spongebob realistic close-ups or an unhinged episode of Adventure Time that is wholesome yet really disturbing and uncomfortable. I feel like that was a good way to describe it. Strange listen, but a good listen nonetheless. I recommend checking this one out. It has a very unique production that is new from Peggy at this time. What you feeling, bruh? People say I'm prejudiced. Communist Slow Jams is the first album released under the JPEG Mafia alias. And I think that the sound he has on this album is moving away from the highly experimental sound that Devin Hendrix had. As this album has a much more vanilla sound compared to previous projects, I also think that this is one of the most vanilla sounding projects with still unique production, but I would show these to someone who has never heard Peggy before and they probably won't immediately block me on all socials and call me a weirdo. Weed, crack it dope, white boy. Christ, see my skin, fuck, fuck your wife. As I say that though, we move straight into Black Ben Carson. This is not something you want to play in front of some baddies. And do not put this shit on at a party, bro. Just play it safe and put some Drake on. Can you get this little dick wet for me? 
or I don't know, something off TikTok. This is definitely some of the most ho-scaring production he has done, with some Minecraft cave ass sounding effects. <laughs> Yeah. By the time those people even noticed us, we were done. That's right. what I want. As right. soon as they notice, they're going to get suspicious. But if they don't even see it, like, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> 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 This, get that, shoot first. Second Amendment is an album with a guy named Freaky who currently has 400 monthly listeners on Spotify. I'm not searching for this because I'm just getting Freaky Friday and the cast of Freaky when I search for him. But Peggy on this project is a lot more experimental with harder instrumentals from Peggy and hard hitting vocals like this. Real shit, niggas discredit you after you turn like 25. You just, nothing you do matters. So like, it gotta be hard, otherwise it don't count. Not on Veteran is, I'm assuming, just a list of songs that didn't make it on Veteran. They are a lot of well-known songs like Puff Daddy. Uh, my personal favorite song ever from Peggy is Does This Ski Mask Make Me Look Fat? And Millennium Freestyle. Just a lot of singles on this, pretty fire. Let's get ready for Rapper Warrior Ninja! Death and keep freestyling! I don't believe in marriage. Oh. Veteran, one of Peggy's most well-known albums. Crazy sound, also probably something you wouldn't play out loud. However, I let my parents suffer through real They have no choice but to keep talking to me about their day while we listen to a man scream for a good half of three minutes. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I cannot wait till Morrissey dies, gotta be one of my favorites off this album because fuck me, them electronic terraria things are hard as fuck, holy shit. God, God damn, damn, holy shit. Uh, uh. Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, feeling a light ache. All my heroes are cornballs. Jesus forgive me, but this album makes me horny. Oh my God, that was so corny. Cool. Corny just like the name of the album. <laughs> Gotta be Peggy's best album. We get the best of both worlds with more tame tracks like Jesus Forgive Me I Am A Thought. Pray, pray, pray. Uh, pray you get comfy in your disguise. Then you get songs like Prone to balance it out. EP gave us some bangers with tracks like Bald, Covered In Money, Bodyguard and Cutie Pie. Are you? <laughs> am I happy with who I am? Am I happy with who I am? Am I happy with the people around me? LP was one of the only projects that I can say I understood what he was saying. The album gave me a little bit of an existential crisis. When Are You Happy came on, I was thrown around listening to this. I went from Nemo. <laughs> Then I was thrown into a slower, more relaxed tone of what kind of rapping is this? What kind of rapping is this? Then they just made me sad at Thought's Prayer. My loneliness is killing me inside. This shit made me feel different ways. Definitely worth a listen if you just want to take a roller coaster of emotions. The other day I was hanging out with one of my bitches. I said, come on, bitch, let's go to Pluckers. When Lean Beef Patty dropped, it got my panties wetter than something that's like really, really wet. Being a fan of both Peggy and Danny, then having them collab was like, Danny and Peggy both have a unique experimental sound. <laughs> and they bounce off each other in this project with Peggy's hard lyrics and vocals and then Danny coming in with the usual crazy time to be alive I was not born too late I was born in the correct time period imagine being alive ages ago and being like bro I'm so ready for that new Elvis to drop and you're at school and with your powers and someone gets a Twitter notification saying that Elvis just dropped and then everyone gets out uh, their Napster or whatever they did. I don't really know. I'm not. I'm not 30. J Goodbye. Uh, no debit. I want credit. These dudes.